Welcome back to Woko Remake Ken 101. Last time, I showed you how I draw the wires I need to compose my cup of coffee animation Woko Remake. While giving you an idea of how I usually start my remaking process from the ground up. Now I'm going to put everything together in Adobe Premiere Pro. Started with my Photoshop file containing all of my animation wires. The video featuring the original cup of coffee logo was also imported not only to extract the audio from it, but also to check if the timing and wire position for my remake matches the original to a degree. For my next tip to share with you aspiring logo remakers, don't be hesitant to add a little twist or unique touch to your logo remake. Now, nothing's wrong with trying to make a straightforward replica of a logo, but at the end of the day, what you're technically crafting is a remake, not a duplicate. So as you can see here with the cup of coffee logo I'm recreating right now, my objective is to make its animation feel smoother and more wifely while still retaining the overall simplicity of the original. If you look back at the original cup of coffee logo, its frame rate is very low, like very low, making it look choppy. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that I'm doing a remake here something that Cup of Coffee themselves might legitimately use as their actual closing logo. Not saying that's really part of my objective of course, but still. You'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about at the end when I do a side-by-side -side comparison. All of that being said, I'm just going to let this footage play because I want to pass the microphone on to you, the audience. Please, ask me questions about my process of animating my logo remake in Premiere Pro because it's a good thing to have such inquisitive 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 curiosity in the comment section.
Okay, once I'm totally satisfied with everything, I'll export the video, and voila! We are done! <laughs> Great! Expect this to show up as part of Classic Logo Remake Party 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look. Once again, if you have any questions about the steps I take to remake logos, or if there are any logos you wish to see get remade for the next logo remake party, leave them in the comments, please let me know. Also remember to like, subscribe, get yourself notified for any new videos like this one, and maybe even leave me a donation on PayPal for giving you those tips. Thanks for watching and take care.